Isn't it annoying? I'm Bill, by the way, yeah. Um, look, can we just, this weekend, can we just chill out? Can we, like, sort of try and forget about our money problems for a week? You know what I mean? Or a couple of days, whatever. I've got to go and be a postman in the morning, so fuck you. Anyway, no, I'm Bill, and, like, I'm just saying, sort of, like, you know, kind of chill out. You know how annoying it is when you sort of like get towards the end of the evening I think Fuck it man I've got to roll some more joints You know as when you have your mates around you know you chill out and you have a bit of fun laugh on that I think I've got a lot of joints Start panicking, just like getting quite late. I should tune in. You know, it's getting quite late at night, sort of thing. And like, um, you think to yourself, you know, I want to go a bit higher before I go to bed. So then you've got to roll yourself, you know, some more glass. How annoying it is when you've got to roll the whole bag of this. Oh. <laughs> Thing like that. I've ever told the story of my life. It's quite good actually. You know, the problem with you is you're sort of like stuck in the 1980s, aren't you? You're in the 1970s, really, aren't you? Well, I don't know. You're not really sort of um, getting towards the future very much as much as I have. Actually, Star Trek Phase 2. Watch Star Trek Phase 2. Brilliant. Show actually, I like Star Trek Phase 2. Apparently, they at least it last two. And I thought I was late. <laughs> now, they have just released it last year, apparently. But Star Trek Phase 2 is really, really good. It's a worthy successor to the original series. I said it's a worthy successor to the original Star Trek. If you like Star Trek, then it is a worthy successor to finish filling the missing years kind of thing. Brilliant. I think I like phase two. I think phase two is brilliant. I don't like your new movies in there, sure. Oh anyway, I was talking about chilling out, yeah. So I was gonna chill out in tonight a bit because you keep you're very judgmental aren't you? As a species, the human race is very judgmental, aren't you? You always judge each other before you know them. Don't you? Except my pals, of course. My pals are completely different. Have you met my pals yet? Ah. A few of them are on these films, but most of them are on video. But I know I've got quite a few pals, actually. It's always useful to have pals. One lesson in life I have always known. The one lesson in life I have always known. It's very nice to have pals. You know, pals, really close friends. It's good to have close friends, because then you have fun. As long as you've got a few friends around you, you know, two or three to fill up the chairs. I said two or three to fill up the chairs. As long as you've got, a, you know, a few pals, and you're getting stoned every night, you're getting drunk every night, then that's cool. And I don't mind paying for the beer, I'm a postman. And believe it or not, I was always paying for the beer. The last fucking 20 years or whatever. <laughs> I've always paid for the beer and I've always paid for the smoke. Okay. Even when I was 10,000 quid in debt or whatever. You know what I mean? So I'm not changing my lifestyle. I may have money now, but I don't change my lifestyle. I might buy a little bit of extra grass, or I might buy a little, you know. But now I'm quite happy here, actually. I've always been here. And I don't really want to move. You see, you live on planet Earth, don't you? For the most part, most people live on planet Earth. The funny thing is, I do not live on planet Earth. The funny thing is, I do not live on planet Earth.
Oh, don't. I live on the ninth floor of a tower block. You know, about 300, 400 metres above ground. I don't know how long a metre is, you know. You know, I'm on the ninth floor. I'm high in the sky, 24 hours. Of, well, when I'm not working. I'm a postman. I work on the ground as a postman. But when I'm not posting letters, I live in the sky. I literally live in the sky. And I'm not going to move. I love this block. I love this flat. This is my home. Where I live right now. This is my home. And I have no intention of moving from here to Kingdom Come. This is my home where I live. Right? This is my home where I live. God, I missed my milk this morning. But yes, this is my home where I live, and this is my flat where I live. Right. But I don't live on Earth. I live nine stories above the Earth. I live in the sky. Do you honestly, would you believe me if I told you that I don't actually live on planet Earth? I live in the sky. High up in the sky. Nine floors, actually. And we still don't have a swimming pool, by the way, Con. We still don't have a swimming pool. But I actually live nine floors. Nine metres, is it? No, it's got to be longer than that. I don't know. Nine floors up. I live high in the sky. And there's tower block. And I love it. If they'd fix the windows, I'd love it. If they're wrong. Windows lay in the cold air. But anyway, no, um, no, I, I live in the sky. I don't actually live on planet Earth. I work on planet Earth. I said I go down to planet Earth every day to post my letters. But I actually, I, I live in the sky. I do actually live in the sky. I live in the, okay. I live in the sky. High up in the sky. That's fine. Do you want to take away the future? Or do you want to give it? Actually, I'll tell you one thing. I didn't like this new Star Trek movie. You know the new Hollywood sort of Star Trek movie? I thought that was a piece of shit. You know, let's change history. Let's make history completely different. I thought that was a piece of shit. Absolute piece of fucking crap. That new Star Trek movie. You know the one? Where they sort of like change history. I thought that was a piece of fucking shit. But anyway, I've been on YouTube lately. And I've been watching Star Trek Phase 2. Phase 2 was only released last year, apparently. I thought it was released years. I don't know. Uh, first time I've seen it. Phase 2 of Star Trek is fantastic. See, I hate... I really do hate this new Star Trek movie. Because it tries to change history, you know, destroy Vulcan and all that. And then I was watching YouTube, and I've been watching this Star Trek Phase 2, you know, the uh, the New Voyages, or the whatever. And I'm thinking, that fucking perfect. Phase 2 ties in perfectly with the original series of Star Trek, doesn't it? So Star Trek Phase 2, it ties in perfectly with... Uh, Bill Shatner's Star Trek, you see. It's not a prequel, it's not a sequel. Well, it is a sequel. It's actually a sort of like pre sequel. Because, like, you know, you, we've got the motion picture ahead of us and all that. Another you know, motion picture is a fantastic movie and all that. But Star Trek Phase 2 actually is perfect. I think, it, I think it actually totally sort of like fills in the missing years between um, the original series and uh, the um, motion picture. I don't like this new film. I think it's shit because it changes history too much, which tries to change our history. But the thing is, Phase 2, we only just, they only just made it, apparently. It only got released last year. So it's like 45 years. They probably made it about 45 years after the original start. Huh? Isn't that true? You know, phase two. 
Phase 2 of Star Trek began about 45 years after the original Star Trek. But it looks like it was made the day later. It's fantastic. So it looks like it was made one day later. And it is fantastic. I like Star Trek Phase 2. I said I really like Phase 2 of Star Trek. I think it's great. It's fucking good storylines. It had Chekhov, Water Koenig, and um, Sulu, you know. It's good fucking series, I don't know. I think. I mean, I'm blank tonight. Anyway, I'll show you how to roll a joint. First, you need grass. And to get grass, you need smugglers. Oh, never mind. Long story line. Oh yeah, I was going to do something, wasn't I? I was. I was about to have a piss as well, I know. Yeah. But I think, I think the Star Trek, um, Star Trek um, Phase 2 is fantastic. It ties in with the original series. It continues from the original series. We may be 45 years late, you might say. It may be 45 years later, but Phase 2 ties in completely with Star Trek. I love it. Anyway, I'm going to have to go to the toilet, so I'm going to stop this film and then make another one. <laughs>